Hi, I'm Christy Simpson and welcome here today to Teach Me Tuesdays with Leisure Arts. Today we will be talking about two of my books with Leisure Arts called Animal Backpacks and Fun Animal Pillows. These are wonderful gift giving books as well as the items that you can make in it. It's crochet and it's a lot of fun and we'll go over it and I'll give you tips and tricks on how to assemble them and how to make them and talk about the different stitches within it. So if you have any questions make sure you ask. I'm sure Leisure Arts will post links to the books and get you linked up that way and um, let's just get started. Hi Madeline, thanks for joining us today. I'll try to answer all the questions and um, keep it going. So let's start with Animal Backpacks. This is um, a book that has eight, they call it Eight Pals to Crochet. So it's filled with um, all kinds of cute animals. It has a giraffe and an alligator, or I guess you could call it a crocodile, but I call it an alligator. And they did a wonderful job with the photography. We also have a lion and a zebra and a bumblebee and a dino, a panda and a sock monkey. We just tried to get really creative with these and just bring out animals that maybe you normally wouldn't see like an owl and stuff like that. I know that would be a lot of fun, but just get creative. So let me show you a few of these. Let's see. Hi Clovis and Susie and Gary. Thanks for joining me today. Look at the giraffe. It's so much fun. It has the little horn things. I know they're not called horns, but um, and then the ears and the nose and eyes and the little patches. And this one is made with single crochet primarily and double crochet. So these are things that even as a beginner I think that you can make because the step by steps are in here um, and it will just help you through it. Now the lion is one of my favorite because of its mane. And it's really cute. It's just like loops and chains. Look how cute that is. Just going around the edge of the flap. And all of these are constructed pretty much the same. They have the, body, the base and then they have a body and then they have the flap and then straps. So on the flap is where you do a lot of the detail. And it's a lot of fun because all, the bodies are made differently. They're not all just single crochet and um, or double crochet. Like look at this one, this is the zebra. And we use like a V stitch in it so that it creates the zigzag and the striping you could say um, naturally. So it's not like doing a whole bunch of difficult repetitive stitches, it just looks like it. So even if you're a beginner I think that you could create these. If you have any questions make sure you ask. Now the bumblebee this one is really cute because it has the wings on the side. Just little details that you can do with crochet. Just adds the extra little special touches. So if you're looking for gifts to make for Christmas, this has eight different ones that you can make really fast. So we also have the alligator and his cool thing is, you know, the white trim represents his teeth and then his eyes sit on top. And then within the pattern, it's kind of bumpy because we use a single crochet and then a treble. So it takes the single crochet and the treble and it like makes the treble bend out. So it creates this little textured um, fabric for the backpack. Is it cotton or acrylic? These are made from acrylic. A lot of them are, um, I'll tell you, a Red Heart with Love and Vanished Choice. Yes, that's what I used within these. So these are um, acrylic and medium weight yarns, but you can substitute cotton if you wanted to, as long as um, it has the thickness that would create a backpack. Because you wouldn't want to use a lightweight yarn because then it would kind of be flimsy, even if you worked it really tight. So make sure you use a medium weight, exchange it for cotton, do it in any color you wanted to, change it up, personalize it, have a lot of fun. Like the dino, it is um, gray and green and blue. And it has the horns and everything. And it's so cute and it has little spots on it. But you could change this out and make it girl, make it purple and pink or teal and purple or whatever you wanted it to be. And it would be cute with a white background or darker with lighter accents. You can just have a lot of fun and personalize these backpacks for boys or girls. Let's 
see. Okay, here's the sock monkey. I know we have a lot of sock monkey fans out there. And it's just a lot of fun to get creative with these. Now, if you're new and you need help with um, all of the different embroidery stitches and stuff like that, there's tips and tricks and everything in the back. And it gives you all of the explanations of the stitches and the general instructions and anything special that you need to know along the way, it's in the book. So you're good to go with animal backpacks. Now, one of my favorite books is the Fun Animal Pillows. Now, this one is a 48-page book. What was this one? This, these are both 48 pages. So, um, these are a little bit thicker than the other ones, but um, it's so worth getting. And I think um, for Christmas or any time, you need to have a copy of these two because these are great for just any time for kids, for babies, to toddlers, to little kids. I know my kids are 11 and they would love to have these. So let's look through this one. And it is again called Fun Animal Pillows. Are they beginner friendly? Yes, I would say they are. The only thing that might be a little intimidating is the assembly, but I'm gonna give you plenty of tips as we go through this. And <laughs> my husband's trying to make me laugh and it's working. Okay, but I'll help you as we go through here. So, Berry Bear. This one is so cute, and this one is beginner friendly. It is made, pri made primarily with half double crochets, and he has a cute little pocket. And these are made in two panels, so they're not worked in the round. If they were worked in the round, they'd be like really round, like Imagurumi, but these are made in panels, and then um, you sew them together with, um, I use a slip stitch. So I would hold, hold the two panels together and just slip stitch them together and it gives you instructions in here how to do that so that it creates a nice little edging whenever you bind the two panels together. Yeah, I'm gonna slip stitch them together. So, um, <laughs> um, my handy dandy assistant's distracting me. <laughs> Um, but this also comes with a pocket that you can put like a juice box or crayons or paper in it to take in the car as a little travel pillow. And let's see, the next one is Betty Bunny. And she is made in hot pinks and orange and teal and white. But what if you use like the blues and the browns and greens and you made it for a boy? You can do that. Just change out the colors you don't have to stick with the same color pattern and that's the fun thing about these like i said they can be made for boys or girls and then let's see all these use are like single crochet and to create the shaping it's just single crochet two together so you're decreasing and increasing just to get your shape so if you follow the pattern step by step you can make these now this one is an elephant and he's one of my favorite I love his little ear and his trunk, and he's just super cute. And these things, this one is about 16 and a half inches wide. So I was going to show you, I mean, that's that's a pretty pretty good size little pillow, but I mean, it's not like big and fluffy like an amigurumi. So you've got 16 and a half inches wide and 11 and a half inches high. So you've got a cute little pillow that can go in a baby's room, boy or girl. Debbie says she loves the elephant. I do too. Look. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better picture. His little tail is just like a little braid of all the colors. Isn't that cute? Just, just little touches that help personalize it and make it special. Then we have Fiona Fish. And she's really funny. The little girl is adorable in this picture too, by the way. Fiona Fish. Now, if you look at it, you would think that this might be the crocodile stitch, but it is not the crocodile stitch. It is, um, it's really easy, actually. It's like a shell that's done on like a, on, on a front loop. So, it's really easy. I'm just showing you the pattern. It's all there. 
And then we have Frank the Fox. Everybody loves foxes. Debbie says, would make a great TV pillow. Yes, you're right. And his, you know, eyes are just made in two layers. You've got the back section, and then you've got the front part here. So, and then you just sew those onto each other. Now, one of the things that I love, 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 and always have to have are these little stitch markers. I don't know if you can actually see them. Little bitty stitch markers. And I like the metal ones. I break the plastic ones. So I just got these at my local craft store, and I use these to attach the pieces together all the way around so that I don't have to like hold it and it's flopping everywhere. Or whenever I'm working on the small pieces, I just attach it to the front panel, and then it doesn't move. So make sure you get stitch markers when you're working on these. Now, everybody loves drafts too, and look how cute. He also has a braided tail, and he has fringe, a fringe mane. Now, like I said, all you're doing here is increasing and decreasing to get the shape. It's not difficult. You just follow the pattern row by row, and I step you through it, and you are good to go. Now, Larry the lion, he has a cute mane also, just like in the backpacks. It's like a little ruffle mane, but you can personalize it for boys or girls. And he is 15 and a half inches high. Let me show you that just to give you kind of perspective. Okay, so the book is this high. <laughs> and then 15 and a half would be about that right there. So he's, he's pretty tall. How tall was the draft? He was 21 high, so he's he's just taller because of that long neck look. There we go. There. So this is the giraffe, just in comparison so you can see. And the bear. Now the owl. I did get all you owl fans an owl in here, and she has a cute little pocket. Cute, cute, cute. And the stripes and the wings, and it almost looks like a sleep mask. So this is a good like night night pillow or a bedtime pillow or a car pillow, you know, that you can just take with you when you travel. Or even as Debbie said, a TV pillow. Now, do we have anybody who likes penguins? <laughs> My husband's like me. <laughs> I don't even think he does. <laughs> okay, and then we have the general instructions again for all you beginners. I think that you could do these and then it gives you instructions on front loop and back loop and back ridge and all of the yarn information that I used in the book is in here and I used medium weights and they were acrylics in this but you could exchange for um, similar medium weights but I used Vanish Choice and Red Heart Soft, um, Baby Hugs um, so again I used Red Heart and Line Brand a lot in these but they're good like Lion Brand's um, Vanish Choice, it just has a lot of color options, and so does the Red Heart Soft, so you're really good to go with medium weights in these. And like I said, it's really easy. You just have to get in there and um, just try it. And these make great, great, great colorful gifts, and I think that you can't go wrong with these. So, plus who doesn't love a crocheted gift for Christmas? I know I give them to all of my family, and they know they're coming, so... They at least, um, I know that they all have a gift. So anyway, let's see. Anything else going on? Carrie says, cute. Thank you for commenting today. Hi, Madeline again. Gary and Lisa and Susie, thank you for joining me. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed going through these with me. And um, join us next Tuesday at 4 p.m. for Teach Me Tuesday. And then Leisure Arts has their Leisure Life live on Thursdays at 4 p.m. So until next time, see ya.